What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Big Bro and Little Sis Reacts. I'm Tomas. This is Tay. Hey. And today we are on Star Wars Rebels, Season 4, Episode 2, Heroes of Mandalore, Part 2. Um, coming off of Part 1, Sabine's mother was murdered by a weapon she created. Um, so, yeah, she rescued her dad. That's crazy. She got her dad back at the expense of her losing her mother. And brother. And brother. I always forget about him. But, uh... Yeah, he was annoying me at first. Don't do that. Why? Because it's already unstable. And broken. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're gonna jump in and see how she retaliates, uh, for this loss. So, full and early reactions are available on Patreon. I feel so bad for her. There were rumors the Empire was working on a weapon to neutralize Mandalorian armor. That it had even been tested on our people. I didn't believe it. Not the Empire. Me. I created the weapon that did this. And because of me, the Empire is going to turn my world into a graveyard. Because of me, Mandalorians are going to die. My mother and brother are... <sighs> they survived. They, did they just troll us? They trolled us. Wow. It had me feeling bad for this girl. And they survived. I'm glad though. Tristan, I, I thought I lost you. We were caught at the edge of the weapon's range. Thanks to your warning, we made it out. The others weren't so lucky. I thought season four was just going to be acting ignorant. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so glad she didn't lose her family. The dad acted like he didn't care. Right. <laughs> Look, he, he dove the other way. The mom protected the son, he dove the other no, way. The he son protected care. the mom because the mom didn't Oh, well, somebody, he didn't even care. The dad just went the other way. He don't care. He's sorry. <laughs> See, in this one, they just cut the weapons. Clone Wars, they would have cut them in two. Bo Katan, okay. So I thought that was sure. How am I messing with the wires going to fix the fire on the wing? Right. A Mandalorian with a jetpack is a weapon. I'm not a Mandalorian. You're a Jedi. I don't want to be a Mandalorian. <laughs> 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 he said, hey. He's a boy. And he got his seatbelt on, probably couldn't get it unbuckled in time. <laughs> oh, I'd be so mad. And so shoot your missile and guide it with the force. Okay, nice. soldier. Fear will compel them to join the Empire. We shall see. I need no disrespect, but what will stop the Empire from using the weapon on us as well? Unquestioned loyalty, Captain. Now, find Sabine Wren. Uh, no, you need to listen to that guy, because he's woke. He's on to something. You told us you destroyed it. I did. The Empire must have rebuilt it. No, he said he didn't have pieces of the prototype. You're a Mandalorian. Why would you create such an abomination? I was young. It was a challenge, and I was arrogant. I sabotaged the prototype and destroyed the plans. So this weapon only targets Mandalorian armor, right? 
So why not make your armor out of something different? Ezra, the armor I wear is 500 years old. I reforged it to my liking, but the battle, the history, the blood, all lives within us. And the same goes for every Mandalorian. Sabine Bray! You built that weapon! You betrayed us all! You're a traitor to Mandalore! Relax. Any attack on my daughter is an attack on Clad Zet. Dollar beef? The Empire is using my prototype, but it's only functioning at a fraction of its capacity. At full power, it will destroy armies. We can fight each other, or we can destroy this weapon once and for all. It's time for you to prove your loyalty, not just to your family, but to all of Mandalore. So you can rule it. But see, this makes me worry she might die, because why is she not ruling it on the Mandalorian show? Like, what happens to her that she's not ruling it? Because it seems that's what they're setting so up, right? Hard to keep the the like, she wasn't, wasn't even mentioned. She came back to face her past, and her bold initiative has impressed me. She has become a courageous leader. She reminds me of the best of who we were and could inspire us to become more than we have been of late. I will not allow her efforts to be wasted. Wow. So she actually likes to be. Yeah, I'm, she's on like the top of my list of safety concerns for this season. To be honest, the only one we know that makes it out of this series is Hera because we heard her and Chopper because we heard them on Rogue One. Yeah. Well, heard Hera, you saw Chopper. Well, I saw him too in the behind the scenes pics and I saw the ghost, but. Best bet they're working on the Duchess up there. The Duchess? You named your weapon after my sister? The former ruler of Mandalore. It was a series of bad decisions, okay? We're going in loud and proud. Kill setting because he wanted to capture her, and, uh, makes sense. You are going to upgrade your little experiment and deliver a weapon that operates at its full potential. It makes it more powerful. How will we prevent the Empire from using it against all Mandalorians? I am the Empire. Palpatine has shown me the way to true power. Really? How is he not getting hit? Not enough time to give you. You have to teach you a lesson, and in the end, all of Mandalore will bow to me. Well, I think he'll betray him now. Oh, I'm moving. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh boy. Save the day. Serious? I finished my mission. Now I have to finish yours too. The day of war was the easier mission. <laughs> <laughs> this weapon of yours, it can unite the houses. Would you rather we destroy ourselves in a fight that cannot be won? At least we die free. As true Mandalorians. I'll take that. Don't use it. That's, that's she sabotaged it. She ain't that stupid. Stupid dummy. You really think she was gonna let you kill her with it? Now we use this weapon on the Empire. No, in reality, they'll probably destroy it. Ooh. That was a Stormtrooper helmet. I respect that they threw that little detail in there, though. Dang, it went through the whole shit. Sabine Star, Mandalore must be free. At what cost? 
to beat the Empire. This is the only way. It's not Girl. our way. It's their way. For Mandalore. For Mandalore. <laughs> I love how Rebels kind of like indirectly kills all the stormtroopers, but it won't like show them physically doing it. You know what I mean? But it doesn't mind showing you, oh, we're leaving all the people that we knocked out behind and gonna blow up their ship. Like once they're being used, um, this is only the beginning. Dark Saber, the Empire will the everything gun, and then the frame, the screen flip to show her. That is why you should uh, bring use it again, but mm -hmm. not the person. Being you stuck. have the courage to make a difficult decision. Your guidance. You have the wisdom of a ruler. There's no one I trust to wield the dark saber more than you. Long this lies with you. Clan Rookie with you. Clan Elder is with you. Clan Creeps is with you. I like Clan Elder's colors. Clan Ren is with you. Now I understand why the saber came to me. It came to me so I could pass it to you. I accept this sword for my sister. So she doesn't have the one in combat, so why wouldn't she take it in Mandalorian? That's the part I'm not understanding now. Maybe that's something she's gonna come to learn later on? That she wasn't allowed to just take it like that? Yeah. Or... She's gonna probably it. Maybe she didn't know. I'm interested to see how you guys are gonna explain that to me. Because I know you guys will. That's my question to you guys, why she was able to take it now from Sabine without beating her in combat, but she couldn't take it from Din and Mandalorian when he offered it to her. Because she's Mandalorian, they're both Mandalorian. So I wanna know why, why that just suddenly changed. Um, overall, good episode, interesting weapon. And I think what's really interesting is yes, the Mandalorians didn't have to use that weapon, but I'm surprised. If Hera was there, I bet you she would have wanted to take that. Yeah. Because that is a game. The way Sabine flipped the script on that thing, it would have been a game changer. Like, if Sabine could have put that at full power and made us expect Stormtroopers armor, it would have destroyed that. It could easily destroy them. Well, more than likely, the Empire would have adapted and gotten different armor so that that couldn't happen, but they could have won a couple battles off that. Right. For sure. They could definitely liberate um, Ezra's planet, um, Lothal, with that. Because they even took out the, um, what is it, the AT, ATT, whatever it's um, called. The, the Walker. The Walker. They call them the Walkers. They would have took out the Walkers. So that, that would have been a neat weapon. I I don't know. I've, I kind of think that was a mistake. Yes, I agree uh, that the Mandalorians shouldn't have used it, but the Rebellion sure could have. They don't have... I don't want to say they don't have no morals, but they are a bit more aggressive and mm, selfish. I, I, I don't know. My mouth had just left a bad taste in my mouth how she didn't want to help them out. I'm just bitter over that decision. I feel like Sabine should have slashed that machine thing one more time. Just I think it, it, it Well, the whole shit blew up. Oh, yeah, you're right. Never mind. <laughs> it, it's that. done. But, yeah, and I wonder what Thrawn, he's probably mad. He's mad. <laughs> but, uh, interesting. I I like this episode. I always like the Mandalorian stuff. Um, you know, I'm just interested to see what's going to happen with this. Like, how, if they're, we're going to see Bo-Katan again, if we're going to see her lose it, any of that stuff that plays into Mandalorian. It might not. I don't know. Because there's only 13 episodes left now at this point. So they probably have other stories they want to do. Yeah. So we'll see. Anything you want to add? No. No. Nope. All right. Well, be sure to let us know what you guys thought. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Subscribe to Patreon for full reactions. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.